Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, question is: If sum of money is invested for compound interest payable annually, the interest part of two successive years is rupees two hundred twenty-five and rupees two hundred forty. Find the rate of interest, the original sum, and the interest earned in the third year. So this is the question. So solve this. So in this question, we have to make two equations. So for first equation, we write principal is unknown, so principal P. Rate of interest also unknown, so rate of interest we take as x, and and the time we take as for one year only. So this is the equation for this. So amount will be equal to uh, rupees two hundred twenty five. Sorry guys, th this is not the amount. This is the CI. This is the interest. So now therefore you can write. So first formula, it will it will be principal into One plus rate by hundred to the power n. That is the time minus principal is equal to the CI. So now I put down the values. So first P into one plus rate is also unknown. R by hundred to the power one. So you do not do not write anything. And this minus P for this we take this P as the common. If we take it, so it will become minus one here. Is equal to the CI that is two hundred twenty-five. So this is the first equation. So write equation one. So now for second equation, write P is equal to P. Rate of interest is also x here. Time for here we take two. And the CI here we write two hundred forty. So here also we make the equation. That is principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power n minus principal is equal to the C I that is two hundred forty. So now simplify this formula. That is principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power two. So now this P as common it becomes minus one is equal to two hundred forty. So now I write that dividing. Equation one by two. So you have to divide both the equations. So first equation we write that is p into one plus r by hundred. So here in first equation there is no power minus one by the principal into one plus r by hundred to the power two. Here as a minus one is equal to it becomes. First, that is two hundred twenty-five, and next it is two hundred forty. So here, first you cut the principal. So now the rate also can be cut, same number. So this one cut, and here as it is two d power one, and here it is two d power two. So here or two d power one remains. So cut the power. And here this minus one and minus one you can also cut. So up in the up there is no number remains, so it becomes one by this one plus. Red by hundred is equal to two hundred twenty-five by two hundred forty. So now to uh, remove this one, you have to reciprocal both the sides. So reciprocal means this number will go up and this uh, one will come down. So one will come down. That means yeah, at down we need not write to write any numbers. So it becomes one plus red by hundred is equal to. So this side also reciprocal. Two hundred forty will go up and two hundred twenty-five will come down. It will be equal to. So now we take one to one to this side. So it becomes R by hundred is equal to two hundred forty minus one by two hundred twenty-five. So now R is equal to two hundred twenty-five. We take as the base and two hundred forty. So now minus one. That means two hundred twenty-five into minus one. That is minus two hundred twenty-five is equal to. Red by hundred is equal to it will become fifteen by two hundred twenty-five. So now finally we take this hundred to this side. So it becomes hundred into sorry R is equal to two hundred twenty-five into hundred as we have this in the uh, uh, multiplication. So first we cut this hundred and two hundred twenty-five. We cut by twenty-five only. So here it becomes four and here it becomes nine. So now nine and fifteen you can cut by three. It will become three, and here it will become five. 
So finally it becomes 5 into 4 by 3. So 5 4 is a 20 by 3. So it becomes. So 3, 8, uh, 6 are 18. So remainder 2, so 2 go up and 3 comes down. So it becomes 6 all 2 by 3 percent is our rate of interest. So, so now you have got the rate of interest. So now you will find out the um, principal. So for that first you write the information. So principal we need to find out so that principal is equal to P. Rate of interest we got 6 all 2 by 3 percent. The time is taken as one as we are doing with the first equation. So first equation the CI is rupees 225. So now I frame our formula that is principal into 1 plus rate by 100 to the power n minus principal is equal to CI. So now I put down the values. So principal into 1 plus rate. So rate is 6 whole 2 by 3. So we have to write this rate in the improper fraction. So 6 whole 2 by 3. So it becomes 3 6 are 18. 18 plus 2 that is 20. 20 by 3. So here if we write 20 by 3. So 20 will go up. And 3 comes down to 3 into this 100. So it will be 20 by 300. To the power n. So n is 1. So you don't write anything. Minus p. So we take this p as the common. Minus 1 is equal to ci that is 25. So now principal into. So now here we take 300 as the LCM. So 300 into 1 that is 300 plus 20. Minus 1 is equal to 225. So again principal into. 320 by 300 minus 1 so now this minus 1 take it into bracket and you have to solve this portion first this is equal to 225 so here this minus comes from this minus only principal into so 300 we take as the base 320 minus 300 is equal to 225 is equal to p into so 320 minus 320 by 300 is equal to 225 so here only cut the zeros so now we take 2 by 30 to this side so it becomes p is equal to 225 so now 30 will go up that means into 30 and 2 will come down that means by 2 so you cut 2 and 30 it becomes 15 so now finally 225 into 15 which will be equal to rupees so 5, 15 5 is a 75 7 carry 15 2 is a 30 37 3 to 3 3 7 5 so therefore this is our original principle so now I have to find out the interest for the third year so for the third year we write all the information so principal so this we are doing with a simple interest formula so for simple interest formula for if we are finding the interest for the third year that means we have to add the interest of the first and second to the original principal so principal is equal to um, we got 3375 plus the interest for the you know, first and second year so first year interest 225 and second year interest is 240 so it becomes rupees 3840 so i have to take this as the principal so rate of interest we have 6 or 2 by 3 percent so we write it in the improper fashion only here that is 20 by 3 percent and time is equal to for third year that means only one year so therefore the interest for third year is equal to so third year principal that is from sorry the interest that is the formula is PRT by 100 or principal into rate into time by 100 so I put down the values principal is 3480 sorry it is 3840 and here also I made a mistake it will be 3840 plus 3840 multiply the 20 by 3 that is the rate of interest into the time not divided by the 100 so right divided by 100 here so now 3 
एट फोर जीरो इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू थ्री सो इंटू वन आर नॉट बैटिंग सो नॉट डिस डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड वी टेक इट इन टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन रेसिप प्रोकल मीन्स वन बाई हंड्रेड सो ट्वेंटी एंड हंड्रेड यू कट इट विल बिकम फाइव ना फाइव एंड थ्री एट फोर जीरो यू कट इट विल बिकम फाइव सेवन थर्टी फाइव थ्री थर्टी फोर सिक्स जो फोर जीरो एट सेवन सेवन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट इट बिकम्स सो ना यू कट थ्री एंड सेवन सिक्स एट इट विल गो टू जिक्स वन सिक्स फाइव फिफ्टीन वन एट दैट इज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एट द इंटरेस्ट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज बिकम्स टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स सो ना यू विल राइट ऑल द आंसर वी राइट हेयर इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन विच यू आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इट इज सिक्स होल्ड टू बाई थ्री परसेंटेज नंबर टू इन विच यू आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट दरिजिनल प्रिंसिपल एट इज रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव एंड नंबर थ्री इन विच यू आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट द इंटरेस्ट फॉर द थर्ड ईयर इट इज रुपीज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स सो दिस थ्री आर द फाइनल आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो गाइज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मोस्ट सोल्यूशन